As the famous saying goes, it's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. This is what the Lebanon's National Conservatory is trying to do as violence shakes the Middle East. Its weapon of choice is opera. In the Middle East, where the focus too often is on conflict, a school of music wants to highlight the richness of the region's arts and culture. It has adapted a well-known tale into an opera, the first in Lebanon to be written and performed in Arabic. You know, in this hard situation all over the Arab world, Lebanon is creating a turning point, a prestigious art. As you can see among the audience over the past three days, this is creating a positive shock in Lebanon and will spread, hopefully, to the whole world. The opera Antar and Abla was created at Lebanon's National Conservatory. It's based on the life of an Arab knight and poet who lived in the 6th century. He was a former slave who fell in love with the princess Abla. Antar and Abla is an opera in the Arabic language based on a curriculum developed at the National Conservatory that has been training students for more than 10 years now. The opera explores topics such as racial discrimination, war and arms trading. Another cause important for those involved in the project is for opera to flourish in Lebanon. The idea is basically to establish Lebanese opera and to have an opera house in Lebanon because there are a lot of great opera singers with international potential but there is no place to perform and this is dangerous. Antar and Abla debuted at the Casino de Leban Theatre in Junier. Although opera in Lebanon doesn't have a permanent address, the audience was enthusiastic. One may be surprised to hear about opera in Arabic, but the work is a big production and it's really great. We really enjoyed the performance. We've watched the opera in Europe and we don't think this is any less impressive. It's an amazing opera, it's really great and we really enjoyed it. The hundred performers in the opera will tour Arab countries, but they also hope to perform in Australia and South America and bring Arab culture to a wider audience.